my signs upside down. <laughs> easy mind, easy life. Okay. So, uh, I had started talking about love and looking for love outside of yourself at one point. And I wanted to really expand on that subject of when I was talking about the love is in you, the joy is in you, the peace is in you. The peace, I think, is the easiest one to understand because you can go sit on a mountaintop, right? It's completely remote. There's nobody else there. It's just you and the mountain, right? But are you guaranteed you're going to find peace there? Can you honestly say with your hand on your heart, oh, yes, if I had nobody around and it was super quiet, no, no noises, no sounds, nothing, just me and the mountain. Ah, oh, peace. Peace doesn't mean quiet. <laughs> but, okay, peace, yes, peace. Then what happens? So you sit on the mountain and you don't have the gazillion distractions that you have around you every day. What do you think is going to happen? After, say, five minutes, ten, I'll give you ten minutes, maybe fifteen. How long is it going to take before your mind starts to chatter? <laughs> and what are those thoughts that it says all the time? You know, all day long. What are those thoughts that repeat? When you're there and you don't have distractions, and by the way, you're on this mountaintop without a mobile phone. No mobile phone. No distractions. What are those thoughts going to be? Think about it. Okay, so imagine yourself now. Close your eyes. You're on that mountaintop. It's just you and the mountain. And it's super quiet. There's nothing else. Chirping. Complete silence. What's running through your head? Try it. After this video, I really encourage you to try that. Find a quiet spot, or even if you can't, doesn't, you're just imagining it. If you are in the silence and there's nothing else but you on this mountain, what would be the the predominant thoughts what would be going on in your mind the most and it's very easy because they're the thoughts you have every day the most so in that exercise you realize that peace is not something that you attain by going somewhere or you get it from buying there's nothing in this world you can buy that gives you peace there's no amount of crystals that'll do it for you or sound you know the crystal the sound crystal bowls or <laughs> all this other stuff that you can do om with and meditate none of that is going to get you peace because the peace is up here it's in you and the peace starts when you realize who you are. When you realize the love that you are. When you realize that you are love, made of love. Infinitely loved by the universe, by everything around you. Everything is loving you in every moment. When you step into that, you will know what peace is. So, the main topic I wanted to cover in this one was the loving yourself. Because in a previous video, I did talk about we look for love out there, in a partner, in, in our children even, right? In someone else to complete us. Because somewhere along the line, someone sold us the line. <laughs> That we are not whole somehow. We're half and we're looking for another half, right? 
and then together the two will make one perfect whole. But it doesn't work that way <laughs> in case you haven't figured it out and you've already been through quite a string of partners you'll know that it doesn't work that way love is not about this love is love you know you can be loved by it you can have love with a neighbor no i'm not talking sexual i'm talking about you know love that you love each other you have wonderful conversations you have a good relationship there is love between you you can have love with your parents you can have love with your children you can you can have love with your pets right this love is love and it's always around us it doesn't it's not just we seem to think that it oh it's just a partner that we need and when we have that perfect partner we are complete but that's where the problem lies you see because then you have this partner and you put all this pressure on them that they have to make you feel loved they have to make you feel that you are seen they have to make you feel that you are heard they have to make you feel special somehow because they're the perfect partner they're your soulmate they're the person you've been waiting for your whole life to complete you now I can honestly tell you, I am with my soul partner. And nine times out of 10, <laughs> he challenges me more than makes me feel loved or makes me feel any of those things. He is constantly challenging me. And now that I have this awareness, he's constantly change, challenging my beliefs, my thoughts, my, he's always pushing me out of the box. You know, when I put myself into a box, he's always pushing me out of it. One day I was trying to talk to him about the zodiacs, right? And my, my daughter's an Aries and I'm an Aquarius. And he's like, who decided that anyway? You know, that that's your traits or that's your characteristics or that's who decided that? You know, and I took a step back. Oh, we were discussing that her birthstone was the diamond. And I said to her, how lucky because I got the garnet and I don't feel connected to the garnet at all. And he said, well, who decided that? And I kind of sat there and I thought, well, yeah, who decided that that was supposed to be my stone? I don't even like that stone. <laughs> so I kind of sat there and thought, he's right. You know what I mean? He's constantly pushing me out of beliefs and thinking he's right. Not all Aquarians are the same. I've met lots of them and believe me, they're nothing like me, right? And I've met lots of um, people in cancer. My dad's cancer. And I've met lots of other cancer you know, from the zodiac cancer, completely different to my dad. So it really, you've got your life experiences and that's all there is. This thing about the zodiacs and these, the traits and the birthstones, yeah, I just, I threw that out the window that day. But for me, my soul partner challenges me. He pushes me out of my box all the time to look outside of, to look more than than what I'm just accepting in front of me, you know? And yeah, that is, I find that fascinating. It's actually the opposite of making you feel loved or making you feel. The other thing I love about him is that since I've, my first partner, we were like together all the time, together all the time, together everything. We're doing everything together. We couldn't be a minute apart from each other. It's like Romeo and Juliet story, right? And we're going to die together and all this. I was young, okay, so just <laughs> bear with me. But with him, you know, with my husband now, uh, since I've met him, he's very spacey. Like he needs his space to do his things. And I love having my space to do my own things, you know, because I like pian playing piano. I like writing books. I like doing all of this. I like, I'm, we're both super creative people. And it was the first time that I was like, oh my God, I have space, you know, like to be me, to, to create, to, you know, I'm not smothered. I'm not, oh, I don't have to worry about, you know, what he needs or what he wants or, you know, like in my first relationship, it was always that my my mum had planted that seed, you know, that I had to be 
taking care of all his needs and all his wants and all of because then they otherwise they get bored and they look for it elsewhere right i'm not just talking about sex i'm talking about everything but um again it's not all about sex you guys you know? <laughs> get your heads out of the gutter come on but um yeah it's been a completely different relationship than what i have ever experienced in my life this space between two people and we can be together and not talk for hours and i find that just so beautiful you know that um it feels like our energies are entwined in that moment but us we don't have to talk we don't need to be in constant communication with like words 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 we 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 don't need that anymore um the love our love has transcended all of that but anyway i've i've yeah <laughs> digressed so in the next one we're going to talk about the love okay what the love is that i'm talking about that's not out there and when i say it's in here I really need to talk to you about what that is, okay? Mm, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.